Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Team Skywater Season Challenge where our win streak is unprecedented. Oh, look at all those blue dots look, all in a row. Look how, okay, so what I think is funny is that we often refer to the Guardians as the Thanos team and they are literally 12 and 12. Like, perfectly balanced. Oh my gosh, as that's all so perfect. <laughs> this is, the, yeah, when he snapped, their score also uh, <laughs> it took a hit. 12 and 12 is still above the fold even. Yeah. Man. Wow. Look wow. at this. Oh, they're tied with wow. our hated rivals, <laughs> the Heroic Express. Oh my goodness. So in a way, if we defeat the Guardians, we're sort of helping the Express, but obviously we're going to try and defeat anyone. So here we go. Uh, oh, okay. For a second, I thought this was the weird home. The, the bad, the, the my bad Tokyo eye, my yeah. eye always goes to Bob's ramen on the wall. There. Yeah, yeah. And then I always crave ramen. Gosh. Is there a ramen place that we can go for lunch someday? Uh, there is. It's called Ike's Kitchen. Ike's, Ike's Kitchen, yeah. Delicious. Shout out. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored by the local area Woo. ramen shop. <laughs> <laughs> that closes when the family that owns it goes on vacation. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those. Get out of my way, Gerwin. Oh, Gerwin's in this level? Gerwin is on the, on the board as we speak. Gerwin is a child of Thanos. Right. <laughs> it's so, true, so we have a quick update from Danielle. She had asked a couple weeks back that um, she had a friend who always asked for her advice but then never took it. Okay. Uh, so oh yes, I do yeah. remember. And this so one. we said that she should just ask more questions. And so uh, I started doing the ask questions approach you all suggested and have gotten amazing results. Since then, I've helped him plan his proposal to his girlfriend, now fiance. Dang! Dang. Turns out oh, all man. he needed was affirmation that he was doing the right uh, thing. Ah, isn't that always what people really want when they ask for advice? Yes, that's exactly. They, people yeah, people much. want they to be told yeah, that they're, they're doing, doing the right, the right thing. thing. I actually I was doing yard work with Jay the other day, and I was I was pouring my heart out to him, and he was like, "Yeah, I think you're wrong." <laughs> I, was <laughs> like, I was like, "Oh, <laughs> well, okay I, then." I did not. I did not even realize what you were doing. It seemed like you were having just like a legitimate, honest. Uh, Conversation. What were you? What were you so wrong about? It's far too personal. To no, be okay, never mind. It's fine. I'm sorry. I didn't. I honestly, I didn't think you. I, I don't know. Did that? Was that a bad? No, I'm no, 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 no. Talk no. to you about it later. <laughs> I'm just camera. saying, like, I really want to switch from black to navy socks, man. I don't understand why you had to be such a jerk about it. <laughs> it really depends on what color, like. You know. That's true, that's true. I'm wearing black pants with navy no, I'm socks. I'm sorry, Ben, you're wrong about the navy socks and black pants. Yeah, I, I gotta go with Jay on this one. <laughs> so, sometimes you're just wrong, and that's okay. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, totally um, that's great. That's great to hear. All right, so today we have several questions that are uh, themed around Ooh, college yeah, no. and picking majors and stuff. Ooh, oh boy. Well, I'm very good at that. I picked several majors. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be great at it. I've picked so many. <laughs> Um, so first we have one from Anna Mercier. Uh, Is that how you say her last name? Um, it depends. Some, I've known people that have that last name that say it Mercier. Okay. Um, but Mercier would be the French pronunciation. All right. And she says, hey, SCB gang, I recently discovered that it is impossible to fit my double major, criminal justice and math, and the honors program into four years, even taking 21 credit hours every semester oh, and geez. summer classes. Oh my god. Any advice on letting go and accepting that your initial plan will not work and that you need to change the course you have paid for yourself in life? For me, that would include either taking an extra semester or dropping the math major to a math minor along with my psychology minor. Oh, maybe drop the psychology minor. That's that's maybe where yeah, you're at if you, if you here. Drop if you're the trying minor, to double major, maybe you If you're trying to double major and minor, then yeah. Yeah. that yeah. might be the, that might be the I, thing. I, I also, if you, okay, if you're doing that with the expectation that you're still going to be done in four years, then it's a problem. Sure. If you want the, the minor and you're totally fine taking an extra semester or two, then that's fine. Just know I, that. This combination of things sounds really good, though. It's it like does. Psychology, yeah, it's not bad, math, right? and criminal justice. It's like, yeah, you're probably going to save, you like, help a lot of lives. You are a detective <laughs> in the, like, yeah. the making. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, the thing is, though, in, in like, psychology is, uh, like, a really good area to understand. And, like, I've always been fascinated with it. And I think it actually helps with my, my daily interactions with people, like, knowing more about how, like, the brain works and stuff and how people are reacting to you. But uh, everything oh, I have oh, ever oh. heard about psychology is that unless you are planning to go to grad oh. school to pursue it, yeah. uh, at, like even just you, like majoring in psychology, it doesn't end up being the most useful. It's like a it's like a political science major, you know. It's like uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. You you do need. Um, I mean, but like the knowledge. And the, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Ooh, I was betting something um, that it got stuck. Man, that, that, I, yeah, I've heard that stuff as well, but that, uh, might be a conversation to have, like, with whoever your advisor is. That's super yeah, true as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't let that affect the outcome of your... But I do think that, right, right. um, those classes and that knowledge would be helpful for oh, what I it seems like you're pursuing. Yeah. yeah, it does, um, for sure, for sure. And I think, okay, so maybe this is the bigger thing, because, like, one... One thing that I tend to do is like I'll, I'll overcommit or I have too many different things going on and I don't ever ask myself what actually matters to me the most. Um, so like I end up doing everything because I just sort of categorize all of the activities as equal priority when in reality it's like not all of them matter to me as much. And I'm, right. I'm giving unnecessary time and attention to something that is actually taking away from the things that then matter to me most. Um, and I feel like that's a, maybe that's one way to, to dial in on it. Or even keeping in mind, yeah, keeping in mind, like, you could, of course, once you're out of school, continue to take classes and continue to, you know, develop everything. All right. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Um, Here we go. Oh, oh, I saw the defender, and I was going to get around. Oh, oh, center. center ball, center ball. Man, me and Gerwin are going toe to toe right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue to steer him in every which way I can. Gerwin, he's my least favorite player on any team. <laughs> he scored on us. Okay, he scored in this game. Finish that ball. Nice. Woo! Finish that ball, Petey. Anybody understand that reference? That was. Nope. Uh, remember the Titan. Yeah. I, I think it was. Hang on, I think it was finish. Yeah. Finish what do you that ball. Finish, finish that, that ball, Petey. Man, remember that Titans is one of those movies that's just so good. There's, there, it, 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 is, it is. It is. First role. Yeah. She's a little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our She's aunt the boy. taught her uh, in what? like art class or something. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like as like an elementary school student or something. Yeah. That's freaking fascinating. What thing? I know. So we basically know her. Yeah, she's, she's, she's yeah. at Christmas every year. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out with her elementary school <laughs> art teacher. That's how it works. For the record, I'm gonna want that introduction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Yeah. Oh man, she was really close to having that. All right, I think that we have fairly well answered Anna's question, but I don't want to start another one since we're almost done with this game. So I actually don't know the answer to this. What did all of you guys major in in college? Oh, like all of them? Um, I, I started pre-med, uh, then for a hot second was Cross. double major, double minor. That was a bad idea. Um, and then I ended up with uh, theater oh. and human development. Oh, see? Yeah, there you go. Double major, double minor. Not good. This girl's only one step behind you there. Yep. Double major, single minor. Um, I <clears throat> went to school uh, basically with just a like marketing degree in mind and um, was able to boost my class schedule enough to where I was actually end up a I was able to double down and also include entrepreneurial management so I actually uh, graduated with a double major. Did you know, what minor was your well? undergrad degree? Um, uh, I did not have a minor. Okay. My undergrad degree I got a double major in biochemistry and biology because they overlapped so much that I literally just needed to take like two extra classes to get the biology degree. Well, that's kind of how I end up with a human development major. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been minored in Oof. chemistry, which you get with the biochemistry degree anyway. Uh, and right. I tried to get a second minor in either foreign languages oh. or Spanish, but I was, I was like a class shy of that, Ooh. I think. And it wasn't really worth me trying to load up on classes huh. to get it. I yeah. like that copycat. I know, that's great. I can't equip it to this, it doesn't look like, but... Boombox, premium boom topper. Boombox. Boom, boombox. Boom yeah, I majored in communications, and uh, I, like, my minor is, like, a weird thing. So, at Tech, like, they have, obviously, regular Virginia minor. Tech. Yeah, Virginia Tech, the B Tech. Um, <laughs> I know what you were thinking. Um... <laughs> Uh, so I, I guess I have more of like what's called a cognate, which is basically where you just like build your own minor out of uh, a bunch of pieces that go together. And so I have a cognate in marketing and creative writing. So I basically went to college to become a YouTuber. You basically <laughs> did and like expertly came out. The other thing that you took in college was like an intro to acting class. Oh yeah, that, that was I, great. I think changed your life. Oh man, intro to acting was fun. I agree. Well, here's the thing. Everyone was like, oh yeah, if you're a senior and you're seeing elected, you should totally take intro to acting because it's just like 
fun improv every class, and it turns out that there were two intro to acting classes. One where it was exactly that, where the teacher was just like, let's just do improv every day, and one was with Lucinda. And uh, she was like, I'm going to train you to be a real actor. actor. And we're like, oh, God. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, no. But it, it ended up still being a lot of fun. She did not like me. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's okay, because uh, I think... You know, I, it seems to have worked out. It seems so funny. It, 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 it turns out you were wrong, Lucinda, and uh, I did just fine as an entertainer. So There you go. <laughs> and hey, now it's time for a quick word from our sponsors over on Patreon. Today's episode is brought to you by Dave and Claw, who wants to wish his son a happy first day at school. Or I, I don't know when this episode will come out, but maybe a first week at school, a first month at school? First something at school. First something sure. at school. Hey, have a great first lunch at school, Dave and Claw's kid. Oh, first great. lunch. Lunch at First school. lunch at school. I hope it. What do you? What would you want in your perfect lunch, Ben? Oh, pork steak day for sure. Pork steak day. I went. What? I went to Twitter mm, uh, mm. once upon a time talking about pork steak day, and I think this might have been a Roanoke thing. Ah, uh, maybe not everyone had pork steak. Maybe not. So on yeah. Thursday was was basically called steak and tate day. Steak and tate. And you had pork steak mm. and mashed potatoes mm. and gravy. Oh man. And a roll, and you could put it all together and just shove it that in your sounds, face. Sounds excellent. <laughs> well, Dave and Claw, here's hoping you a happy steak and tate day in your first week of school. And now it's time to face off with the Rovers. Ah, Buzz Aldrin and Buzz Lightyear and Buzz Armstrong. All the buzzes. <laughs> All the no, buzzes. wait, it wasn't Buzz Aldrin because that's the real guy. It's Buzz Saw. Buzz, 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 Buzz Saw. Yeah, there we Saw, go. Buzz Armstrong and Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Look at us remembering our own inside is. jokes. There it is. <laughs> Also, I'm pretty sure that their little icon, he's holding what looks like an actual radar, but it could also be an upside-down umbrella. Oh, I thought it was a flag. Like, he's, like, oh, putting I, a flag think, on the moon. I think he is holding a flag, but the... the oh, rover, are you kidding me? The actual rover! Oh, I, oh, you've got nothing, Buzz Shepard saw. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that block. I can't believe. follow-up. Oh, oh, so good. So good. Well, good for you. All right, so we have another college-related question from okay. Caitlin Montgomery. Hey, and Caitlin. she, as well, did the thing where she messed up our names, and it's really funny. So it says, Dear Bench, James, D-Rock, and George. Okay, sure. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah. Who's George? I don't know. I don't uh, know. Guess me? All right. George Georgian. Who's Bench? Georgian? Yeah, I know that. I'm Bench. You're Bench, yeah, obviously. <laughs> right? George, yeah. Like Bench be is a good name. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh my okay. God. Oh, wow, no. well, nothing we can do about that. All right, and so Caitlin asks, uh, I'm having a lot of trouble deciding what college I want to go to. I want to go for pre-med, and I don't want Ooh. to be too close or too far from home. And she didn't specify where home was. Right. Any suggestions? Oh, man. Well, I would focus more on the school that has the better program for pre-med than I would the location of it. Yeah. Um, for one thing. But I... Well, here, let's let's talk about the, the topic of the location then. Because okay. I do think... There are people who, like, desperately want to be as far away from home as possible, and there are people who want to be as close to home as possible. Yeah, this is true. Uh, I feel like it's the two key arguments if if location is a factor uh, for colleges. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes going far from home does allow you to be, like, you can't rely on your parents because right. they're not in play I think it also opens up the door for you to like be a completely different person. Like if you go to a college that's like really close to where you grew up, chances are so did a lot of other people. Yeah. And it, you can like kind of continue to fit in that bubble like, oh, this is who I was, and so the same people are here, so I'm still kind of that person. Right. It's, um, it's kind of like you are who you are around your family, almost regardless of circumstances. Right. So it's yeah. like you are who you are around your high school. You yeah, know, exactly. Like you, you get a, a, a really fun opportunity to sort of reinvent yourself. Yes, you do. Um, um, great. And it can be a little harder if you stick a little too close to home. Um, and, like, this is why I would say... Ooh, you could say oh, there we go. There we go. So, um, for me, this wasn't really as much of a, a question. Like, I always just wanted to go to Virginia Tech, and it, it just so happens that it's pretty close to where we grew up. I don't know, it was about an hour away. Yeah, um, from, from mom from, and dad. Yeah, from from our parents' house, which wasn't, like, outrageous if you needed to make, like, a weekend trip, but it was also... Um, oh, my gosh! I am getting the worst luck on the freaking defense. Their defense. I think I just ran this. 
Whoops. twice. Get? Oh, no. Derek, how far did you go? Uh, from not terribly. Um. Yeah. yeah no, the, like, the location was never a concern for me. It was just, uh, the... Just the program? Just the program, man. Yeah. Or, yeah, so... The other thing is, I don't know, not everyone has Also, I, I went to school uh, as an adult. Like, I was not right out of high oh, school. Oh, interesting. That, interesting. That, yeah. yeah so, like, um, the idea uh, where some people uh, want to sort of reinvent themselves or be free from their parents, I already was. Um, right, so right. So, that was not as much okay, of a concern for me. Concern. Yeah, I got boomed, y'all. Very interesting. Um, so, the other thing a lot of people have to deal with is, like, in-state tuition. I know that's often oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. way cheaper, so... You know, I, by almost design, I would say, if that's your situation, you almost can't be in a situation where you're too far away, unless you live in, like, California or Texas. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, although Texas is a pretty small state compared to Virginia. Right, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Very tiny. Uh, Basically, very minuscule. Small. Yeah, it's like the Rhode Island of the Midwest. The Rhode Island what? of the Midwest. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Everything is wrong with <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't call Texas part of the Midwest there? No! Yeah. <laughs> Texas is part of the, of the, it's part of the, the, the West. Wait, the South? I don't know. Texas I wouldn't call it part of the South. Texas is concerned as its own country. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Texas sure is the Rhode Island of Texas, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who are completely misunderstanding why we're making this joke, uh, on our Discord we basically have a running gag that Texas is very, very small. Yes. Because it is. That's a great <laughs> Oh bad no! Oh, well, gosh, yes, we really got to get a second goal. Careful, y'all. Oh, no. We're going to really need Guys, we really need a third goal here. We really need, yeah, a second and third goal. Our win streak is very much in under fire. Alan Shepard, who definitely was on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> with a saw. With a saw. No, but Somebody with a, had to bring a with saw. With a golf club, actually. He was the golf club yeah, guy? Yeah, he's the golf club guy. No way. Yeah, no! Oh, gosh, guys. This is the okay. first man in space. Let's focus on the game for a hot second here. Yeah, that's probably a good point. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. We can um, get four goals in one minute. We can no do this. We can do all. this. We've done it before. Maybe. It's, no, it's possible boy. we've done it before. This is where I wish that we had like a real-time uh, statistics manager. Just on hand, that could be like, all right, guys, you've never scored this many <laughs> goals. Right. Like, I feel like that's part of the Super Bowl. It's like, nobody's ever been down by 28 before. <laughs> but by 28 <laughs> points with less than 16 minutes left. Right. It's like, who, who is the staff of people yeah, in fun. charge of, of <laughs> figuring that out? <laughs> the Super Bowl is so great for this because it's like, there's been way fewer Super Bowls, so the stats are so wide open for stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, wow, well, yeah. It's like, Okay, but uh, how how reliable are just Super Bowl only stats? <laughs> right, like it's always different teams. It's, uh, once significantly a year smaller with different sample rules size. And, yeah, oh, I just missed that. It is hard to play oh, with half an hour. I think we're gonna lose. This is no good at all. You know, I haven't given up hope. Okay, now we uh, now, <laughs> now, now it's over. <laughs> okay, look for their upside down umbrella and their logo. If, okay. Oh, is it not gonna show it to us? We need to go back. Well, to we'll, we'll be able to like yeah, yeah look at it on the screen here. Okay. Maybe, oh. Wait, 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 wait for it. Oh, buzz. Terrible. <sighs> there, oh. See? See? Upside down umbrella sticking out of their little cart. You see it there? I do. I do see it. I think it's actually oh, I know. Like, a, like a radar device. Yeah, I think it probably is. Bit, yeah. <laughs> but I, I'd like to um, yeah. also say it's a mockery of our... Of Team Skywater. It is. Oh my goodness, I didn't even think of that. Oh right? my god. Right? Wow. Jeez. Offensive. Offensive. Hey, is the next next episode is gonna have the first the first game of Is it? The playoffs, yeah. Playoffs oh. and then the championship. Oh my goodness. Well, we will see you in the playoffs, guys. As always, thanks for leaving a thumbs up on this video and leaving a well grammarly Grammatically correct. <laughs> that, what a great word to get wrong. <laughs> and a grammatically, a well grammarly, a well, a well grammarly place, comma. Make sure you grammar good. Make sure you grammar well in the comments. I don't even know what you're asking for right I'm, now. I'm trying to say, leave us a question in the comments for us to answer. I feel like somehow you're actually going backwards. <laughs> Am I? On your ability to ask people to comment on these videos. All right, like, maybe I'll just go back to the old classic. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't do that either. Oh my god. You know the other thing I. 
would be curious for is just other topics you guys would like us to discuss. Mm. I know we always say, like, hey, do you need any life advice? But is there anything you would just like to hear us talk about? Ah. Anything, like, burning questions that you might have about, like, the about universe or other? or suns or stars or matches or candles. Are you thinking about things that burn? I'm thinking about burning questions. Oh, <laughs> Very good, very good. There you go. Yes, please, burning questions. But anyway, burning. until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.